Welcome to HostGal, my name is Jacques and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create a MySQL database on cPanel and how to configure user privileges for that database we're going to create. Okay, you've probably already logged into your control panel. Let's scroll down to MySQL databases. This is where you create and configure new databases for, for users. Right, click on that and you will see the structure over here. Here you can add a new database and here you can add a new user which is going to have privileges to access and make changes on the database we're going to add here. Right, let's go over and create a database called DB1. You can assign anything or you can create any name for, for a specific database. Let's create the database. It will say it successfully added the gdipers underscore db1 which was the database we just created. Now in most cases on cPanel you will always see your default cPanel user underscore and the database name. So just take note of that. Let's go back. Right, we've created the database and it will put it over here you can also delete the database if you don't need it anymore and you will see over here there's no user privileges for this database and that's what we're going to create now right let's go over here under username you can assign any username to to be um, included so let's just use support for this one and just give it a password of password just to make it easy on us right I suggest you make use of this little tool over here generate password it's a button that enables you to create a, a stronger password for security reasons I would advise you to make use of this you can deselect the symbols you can make the password length 4 or 6 or 7 and you can say regenerate and it will regenerate without the symbols and seven characters right we're not going to do that for now but I would advise you to make use of this it's just a stronger way for security and you will see my password strength is re really very weak so but for this we're just going to use password and then click on create user right we've just added support with the password password and it actually created that user for us now you will see there's still no users over here right we need to assign privileges for this specific user support gdipers underscore support that we've just created for this database now this database have no users currently so over here is where you assign privileges for a user now should you have more than one user you can create another one you will see it in the drop down here should you have more than one database you will see it over here so just make sure you don't get confused and assign the right user to the right database right in this case it's support and the database is db1 and remember your cpanel underscore will always cpanel username will always be in front here or most hosting companies configure it like that right so let's add support to the database one and this is where it will take us to the privileges page where we can assign this user privileges to make use of this database now in all cases I would always select all privileges for my specific development projects I'm the only one working on on the databases so so I always sign all privileges right so I it, it will just be easy on you as well in in a later stage where you don't really get restricted so just make use of all privileges for now and then click on make changes right it said the user support which is gdipers underscore support was added to the database gdipers underscore db1 right so we've assigned all privileges to the support user to make use of this database and then we go back right and now you see over here it actually created or assigned the privileges 
for this database and it includes this user here. Once you've created more users, they can all you can all you can assign them all underneath here. So there could be a lot here, but for this for this tutorial, only one user has got all privileges of DB1. Right. And you can also see our user is located over here. So should you need to delete the user, you can do it over here. Should you need to delete the user for having no privileges to the database, you can do it there. And should you need to delete the database itself, you can delete it over there. Right, this covers the section of how to create a MySQL database on cPanel and how to configure user privileges. Thank you very much for watching and we'll be bringing out more tutorials soon, so watch this space. Bye.